Hi guys, welcome back. So in this section, we will see about uh, a brief uh, description about GD and T symbols. Um, datums and some modifiers so till, till now we have seen about uh, GDNT tolerances dimensions and in this section some we will say a brief explanation what is the use of these uh, symbols which are generally used in a manufacturing right so we have seen as a flatness is one of the symbol so it indicates about the flatness of the surface if you take the duster how much this flatness of a surface varies with respect to positive as well as the negative it is indicated by some value how flat this surface should be right this is about the flatness next straightness how straight flatness is different and straightness is different how straight it should be how straight a line or a surface will be flatness is measured on the surface and straightness is measured with respect to line right next we come across uh, position this is for circular components as the symbol indicates it is used for circular components how much the position of a hole should be defined or it, it can vary it defines about the position of a hole or a slot right so this is about this and perpendicular how much a tolerance can vary with respect to perpendicularity this line vertical line and horizontal line horizontal line as i said every component to manufacture should have a basic dimension as well as a tolerance so that tolerance we are going to define based on the different symbols this is called as a perpendicularity tolerance right how much perpendicular this surface should be or this line should be with respect to other surface with respect to other surface right parallelism how much this line and this line should vary or should be parallel actually this line and in this case these are perpendicular but there are some components so this line and this line are parallel inclined so how much tolerance we can we can't use perpendicularity here with respect to this line because it is not perpendicular we have to use a symbol parallelism symbol how much it can vary with respect to tolerance right next angularity angular tolerance in the tolerance section in the compound tolerance we have seen this i have taken similar not uh, same example i have taken a similar a slight different profile with angle dimension some theta plus or minus tau this is called as a angularity so how much this is inclined with respect to other surface that one is used to we use to define an angularity tolerance right 
Next one is uh, concentricity. It indicates about the circular components or circular holes. If a hole or a plate is placed on the back or on the front, suppose assume that this is a plate and there is a hole on it and we are going to place some washer. Say we have to place another component on this circular component on a circular component. One by one. In this case, we use this concentricity symbol. These two holes should be concentric, means same axis. They should both the axis should be same. This is how we represent concentricity. Right? Next profile. This plays a major role in manufacturing tolerances. So profile generally we call as a uh, king of tolerances because it controls all the type of tolerances. Suppose I have taken a simple plate. This is called as a profile. I have given profile some value with respect to some data. So we will see that later. So this tolerance is applied to entire surface. We can control flatness, straightness, everything with respect to only this surface because this arrow indicates only for this surface. So this is the body profile of a surface. This is about the profile of a line. Here we will get both plus or minus terms in this. Profile on the line means only with respect to line and only with respect to one dimension. That is called as a profile of a line. Angularity position. So run out. This is applicable for cylindrical surface only for the cylindrical components we are going to use this run out tolerance this is run out this is a total run out it is applicable only for the particular section of the cylindrical component with respect to axis it controls the lateral movement total run out is similar to this circular normal run out but in this it controls orientation as well as the lateral movement of a circular or a cylindrical component with respect to axis it controls only the lateral section and it controls the complete lateral as well as the orientation of the cylindrical component with respect to axis. Right? These are the common GDNT symbols we use. I will add later if I miss anything, I will add, we'll see it in the later sections. Next one is datums. Datums play a vital role in a manufacturing industry for producing a component. Without datums, we can't manufacture a part. Datums are the um, basic, uh, datum refers to the basic criteria to produce a part. In order to manufacture a part, we need to fix some location. We will take some material 
we can't manufacture by taking a material and place it and uh, we, we cut as it, uh, as it is as a per our requirement. First of all, we have to take the material, we have to place at some location. We have to fix that material. Without fixing the material, we can't produce a part because it keeps on varies with respect to orientation, with respect to linear dimensions, with respect to angular dimensions, with respect to form as well. So in order to arrest, we need some type of features that is called as a datums. In order to fix a component, we use with the help of datums. So this is the indication of datums. We will see about what is this here. There are, we can use any number of datums, but basically to arrest a component, we need three datums. E, A, B, C. In this, we use three datums. A is called as a primary datum, secondary datum, tertiary datum. Generally, a component can move in three different directions x, y, z. X y z right x direction y direction z direction in order to fix this one with respect to all these directions we use datums that is the concept of datums in this we go for 3, 2, 1 principle and right hand thumb rule. Three, two, one principle instance as we discussed to fix this one, fix a plate, we use this 3, 2, 1 principle with respect to datums. Right hand thumb rule C. Assume x, sorry, x, y, and z. It indicates x, y, and z directions. So this principle is used in the fixing or selection of datums. Right? And degrees of freedom. Each and every component will have minimum six degrees of freedom. We'll see x, y, z. Linear or translation, <coughs> y translation. Translation. Translation is in it's a, just a movement. It's a linear movement or translation. It's going to translate like this. Rotation in the sense, this way or like this. This movement is called as a translations. So these are three. We have to arrest a component with respect to X, Y, Z. rotation this component with respect to x axis rotation with respect to y axis rotation 
with respect to z axis rotation right with respect to x axis with respect to y axis and with respect to z axis so we have to arrest all these things that is why we use we call as a 6 degrees of freedom component with respect to x axis translation as well as rotation component with respect to y axis translation or rotation next z axis translation as well as rotation it's just a movement to manufacture a part we have to arrest all these things suppose i have not arrested all these things suppose i have not fixed this component i am planning to drill a hole on this i can't because this somewhere it is somewhere on the plate i have not taken any datums just i am planning to drill a hole on this it can move here it can move somewhere during the machining operation or during the drilling operation it will move like this or it may rotate like this so if the component rotates or moves like this during drilling or during machining if i want to play till a hole here when it comes to end this hole will be here got it because it is not arrested it is not fixed i start drilling the hole here it, this component moves on goes on moves like this like this finally finally this component instead of placing a circle here or drilling a circle here or a hole here because of non arresting of this component i can get hole here or somewhere which is not at all required at that particular location so for that purpose we have to arrest a component before doing any operations right so this is about uh, a brief introduction of datums and some gdnt symbols that we generally use so in the next section we'll see what are the different types of datums and some modifiers right if you like this section subscribe share or comment